If you remember from the previous lessons on manually creating lids, we used a mid-plane option for the extrusions when creating the lids. Now, I mentioned that the reason for doing this was because using a blind option would create an invalid contact later on. Let's take a closer look at what this means. When we created the lids, notice that by using either the Create Lids tool or by using the mid-plane option, we actually created what's known as a surface contact between the lid and the model. Notice how the outer surface of the lid is in contact with the outer area of the part. This is a correct surface contact. However, in this example, created using a blind extrusion, notice that the lid only maintains a line contact with the part. This line or edge contact is incorrect. The lids must have a surface contact in order for the flow simulation to be run. A great tool you can use to verify your lids and setup before creating the flow study is by running the Check Geometry tool. The main purpose of the Check Geometry tool is to inspect the model for invalid contacts, such as line or edge contact, and also to calculate the internal fluid volume within the SOLIDWORKS model. Before running the simulation, your models must be checked by flow to make sure they can be meshed and solved for correctly and also to ensure that there aren't any problems with the geometry that might prevent meshing. The two main reasons that prevent meshing are, number one, that there are openings in the geometry that would prevent SOLIDWORKS from fully defining a fully closed internal volume. Now, this would happen only in an internal analysis and only if there are openings that haven't been closed off by lids. The second reason a model cannot be meshed is invalid contacts. An invalid contact is defined as an edge, line, or point contact between the part files like we saw earlier. These invalid contacts prevent SOLIDWORKS from being able to calculate the internal fluid volume and you won't be able to run the analysis. Let's look at a couple scenarios. I'll run the Check Geometry tool by clicking the Check Geometry icon on the Flow Simulation toolbar. At the top, you can see a list of all of the bodies in the part or assembly. You have the ability to enable or disable any of the bodies. Make sure they are all enabled before running the tool. There are a few checkboxes for excluding regions of the parts and also for creating assemblies. In most circumstances, I recommend leaving these cleared. To run Check Geometry, just click the Check button. The tool runs, and you can see the fluid and solid volumes and also a list of invalid contacts. If there were any invalid contacts present, we'd get a fluid volume of zero and there'd be some invalid contacts listed below. This model checked out perfectly. We got a fluid volume of above zero and no invalid contacts.